Welcome to the skills video for the King County EMT Administration of Intranasal Narcan. My name is John Nolan. I'm a paramedic MSO with King County Medic One. We're going to show you how to assemble the preloaded syringe of Narcan and assemble or attach the MAD device or mucosal atomization device. Then we're going to take you through a patient scenario and demonstrate the skill. Our emphasis is going to be on patient assessment, ABCs, and ventilating these patients using a bag valve mask. So each intranasal Narcan package should contain one box of nasal Narcan and one package uh, containing the MAD device. When you open the box of Narcan, you're going to find two pieces. The glass vial containing the Narcan and a plastic barrel syringe. Make sure that you check the expiration date on the glass vial and check the contents of the medication to ensure that it's not cloudy or discolored. To assemble these two pieces, you simply remove the purple and yellow small caps and insert the glass vial into the plastic syringe and twist until it's snug. Then you take the yellow, the large yellow cap off and take your MAD device and attach it to the tip of the syringe in a twisting fashion until it's snug. And then your device is ready to be used. Ventilation, I'm going to go ahead and give it one milliliter in our can. Now we're going to take you through a scenario using two of our EMTs and we're going to follow the algorithm that's been approved by King County EMS. Sir! Sir! The first thing you want to do is establish unresponsiveness and check the patient's ABCs. Okay, Rita, I just talked to the roommate and he strongly suspects that he may have overdosed on his pain medication today. Okay. Yeah, we have a good pulse, but he's barely breathing. I'm going to have to start. Once you've determined that the patient has a pulse and that their respiratory rate is less than 8, your focus now should be managing the patient's airway to include assisting the ventilations with a bag valve mask. Fire 2, engine 3, 2, request one more unit plus a medic unit to have a patient in respiratory distress. Ventilations using the bag valve mask need to occur for at least one minute prior to the administration of nasal Narcan. Okay, we have a regular pulse or about 80. Let's take a blood pressure here. We have a blood pressure of 92 over 64. You go ahead and take a blood glucose on this patient. All right, so we're going to go ahead and listen to uh, lung sounds and see how those are doing. Ventilate. Ventilate, ventilate, and one more please. Okay, lungs are clear, equal bilateral. Our blood sugar is 102. So let me take a quick look at his pupils. I can take a second, just for a quick second. Oh yeah, yeah, they're uh, equal in pinpoint. So it looks like we're gonna start to administer Narcan. Okay. Fire two, engine three, two, please update our... Once you've completed the primary survey, obtained a complete set of vital signs, listened to breath sounds, checked pulse oximetry, glucometry, and the patient's pupils, the next step would be to assemble and administer Narcan. Narcan kit ready to go here. Pull out a kit. Okay, I'm going to verify I do have Narcan, 2 milliliters, which I do. The medication is clear and the expiration date is 5 of 18. I'm going to go ahead and screw in the syringe. And open up the MAD device. I'm screw that on right now. Okay, read up your next ventilation. I'm going to go ahead and give him one milliliter of Narcan. Administer one milligram, which is only half the vial, into one nostril. Once the Narcan has been administered, immediately resume ventilations with the bag valve mask and annotate the time the Narcan time was given. 11 o'clock. I'll make that notation right now. And read, verify with you that I did indeed give one milliliter. Now we have one milliliter left over. Yep. Okay, 
It's 11.05. It looks like it's time to do another set of vitals. At five minutes after the administration of Narcan, reassess the patient's vital signs and check their neurostatus. Our pulse ox is also reading 96. Take a blood pressure. Feels like his respiratory drive is improving. Oh, excellent. We have a blood pressure of 106 over 94. I'll do lung sounds now. Mentally. 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 And mentally. Okay, lung sounds are still clear, equal, bilateral. I'll go ahead and do a pupil check after your next ventilation. Okay. Okay, pupils are starting to restore to normal size, and they're both equal. Medi-Five, engine 3-2. We're seeing a 32-year-old male reportedly overdosed on some pain medications. If time permits, update the incoming medic six, unit with a short radio report. Uh, we're assisting with bag valve mask. Uh, we administered one milligram of Narcan via nasal. Currently, we have a blood pressure of 104 over 94 with a rate of A. Our pulse ox went from 92 to 96 percent. His lung sounds are clear, equal, bilateral, both before and after administration of Narcan. In summary, the patient's airway, breathing, and circulation should be your priorities. If they don't have a pulse, begin CPR immediately. Narcan does not have a role in the cardiac arrest patient. If the patient does have a pulse and they meet the criteria, your priority now shifts to managing their airway. Ventilate the patient using a bag valve mask for at least one minute. Assemble and administer the Narcan and immediately resume ventilations with the bag valve mask. Remember to document the time that the Narcan was administered. For quality assurance purposes, thorough and accurate documentation is required on all patients and your training division needs to be notified on all patients who receive Narcan. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have any questions, please contact your training division or King County EMS.